How you doing guys? Out in the garage again. It's Monday. And this is what I've been working on. Whoops. I thought I went away from the car. Worked on the interior a little bit. And it's not gonna lighten up. There you go. But you can see it's not gray back there, right? So that side's done. Wiped the sill plate down, wiped the bottom, wiped it up a sill plate down around the roll bar too while it was there. So now we just got this side to do. But I gotta move the car over for that. That side, you can clearly see it's gray in the back. So, shit's a pain in the ass to work with. That I can tell you. It just doesn't fold around the corners well. And when it folds around the corners, it's just too thick. So the padding, you know what I mean? And those panels are made to fit into a recess. It's, I don't know. Yeah, got a little more done. Let's see what we did. Got the soap plate in. Got the, can't see it, the kick panel in. I started to wipe the floor a little bit over here. Obviously, I didn't wipe all the floor, but uh, it's nice to have the soap plate in. Very hard to get. The problem with that soap plate is, I'll tell you right now, it says American Motors on it right there and there. They make repop ones. Believe it or not, Chrysler makes them. Uh, they're a hundred and something dollars. Well, I'm just I priced them out ten years ago, they were a little over a hundred bucks. Um, they don't say American Motors on them, which I really didn't care. Um, and any nice ones that come up are instantly gone. This car, as a two-door, takes the same sill plates as an AMX. So, and they're ridiculously thin aluminum. All you have to do is put your foot across them, the new ones, and they leave a scuff mark. So what these people did, did was, is they bought up a load of them, and they would put them on their car, and as they got scuff marks in them, they put them up on eBay. What a scuff mark on them. And they were still getting ridiculous numbers, and they weren't even correct. So, it's one of those things, I don't want to be afraid to get in and out of my car. And if I buy a mint pair, I would replace them on the ones on my AMX, which are pretty mint. But I'm not going to put ones on my AMX that don't say American Motors on them. That would be like the stupidest thing I could do. So with that, I never bought them. So, this side... A lot of the stuff is done on the side now. We have, like I said, we have the kick panel. We have the back door panel on. I gave a basic wipe down on the inside here. Uh, I did just the edges of the mat and a little bit under the seat and a little on the back. Uh, we're going to clean a little bit more. Then the other side, and you guys can't see it, that's the mat folded down, flopped down. Because I don't have the kick panel over there or the sill plate. Um, I don't know if I have. Yeah, I do have the welding on around the window. Uh, and when I do that, I'll have to put back the panel back there. Uh, but the pile of parts is dwindling down to, you can't see it, there's a handful of screws in there. And I got a little bag of screws for that trim I got to put across the windshield and in the corner right there. And over here, it's a little piece of trim. So I want to look at them closely, see if I want to repaint them or not. And I got to put the rearview mirror back in. Uh, actually, I found that today in the Concord. I'm gonna go get that now. Yeah, we ain't putting this on. Well, I am putting it on, but uh, I just tried to clean it very, very lightly with a Brillo pad, and it's wearing the paint off. That's how thin it is on here. This, I'm not sure what it is. This feels like pot metal. It's not aluminum. And, uh, and the mirror is good. Nothing wrong with the condition of the mirror. And it's actually tight, ball and socket, the way it's supposed to be. It never moved on me. So, I think what we're going to do is, um, tomorrow I'm not going to be around day and night. So, Wednesday, probably one of the first things I'm going to do is scuff and shoot this thing. And, uh, but I don't want to shoot it black. This is like a uh, platinum color or something. So, I'll have to run to the store and see what they got. 
You know, I know Junior would love to paint it, but then I gotta go and buy loads of paint and stuff like that. So, and uh, I'm probably gonna paint that trim along the top. It's like a gloss black. I'm gonna do it satin black to match everything else in the car. And uh, then we'll get those couple of pieces on. And we're moving right along. So, spent a lot of the day uh, trying to dig in that one railroad tie, which is 20 feet long at this point. We attached uh, two eight footers and a four footer as one, and you can actually lift it from end to end and it doesn't bow. It's pretty heavy. Um, so we could uh, do that tent. So one side's complicated, not hard, one side's uh, a big pain in the ass because you're into clay, and the other side's already leveled off, so we just got to be sure they're the same height. Um, so this is the one that's taking the time. But me and Junior were out here for a couple hours, digging and picking and digging and picking. And then uh, the skies went from blue to pouring on us, to blue to pouring, and then we gave up. <laughs> now the skies are just in between. And the humidity is dropping. And the next week is supposed to be, the humidity is supposed to drop away tomorrow. And it's supposed to be a beautiful week into the weekend. So I hope that holds true because I'm going to get my car up there cruise night. Uh, I really don't want to drive this car anymore without a rear view mirror. I can't see what's behind me. I don't have a side view mirror. Uh, the car didn't come with one. And uh, the 69 door, I welded up the holes because I wanted to leave it the way the car was. Uh, it, was an, it was an option in 64 for $7, $11, something like that. I think it was $7 for the mirror, $11 for reverse lights, which this car doesn't have either. So, the less things it has, the less things you got to restore. That's the way I think of it. So. Okay, guys, we got this stripped down. I cheated a little bit. I soaked it in uh, lack of thinner. Okay, then just 400 it afterwards. So this is like a pop metal. And this, I did not. This was just sanded down, putting the edge and the little lip around it and cleaned. So that'll give it plenty of time to dry. When I wipe, when I paint this on Wednesday, I'll wipe it with something so water doesn't get into any of these little areas and come out and get me. So this I left a lot of the paint on there. Okay, if I would have soaked that, uh, chances are the glue or the mirror would have fallen right off and the mirror would have been floating. And who knows what it would have done to the glass, then everything would have been trash. So the key is to not put that paint on heavy. That's why they use lacquer. Lacquer is very thin. You know what I mean? But uh, I'm going to try and get some kind of platinum type color. Something similar to what this was. I don't want to paint it silver. Um, I have no problem actually painting that satin black to match everything coming off the roof. And then that the other color. I'm not painting that satin black. So at that point, if I'm going to paint this, the platinum, I might as well. I keep calling the platinum, I'm not sure what color it is. Um, I might as well do the same color. It's very similar to the goldish tan sand flesh color that GM used in the early 60s too. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. Similar, but I don't think it's the same. Like I said, it's hard to tell picking it up like this. So, but it's like unbelievably thin.